In this lesson for Photoshop Element 7, we'll add texture to a photo in three different ways. Let's start with a picture of a flower which has a nice soft background, but I would like to add some texture to this. One way to do that is to overlay a grayscale photo on top of the current photo. This picture from a inside of a dumpster was converted to black and white and I will use this as an overlay on our flower photo. So using the move tool drag and drop the overlay on top of the picture press the shift key and then release the mouse button to overlay the dumpster photo on your flower photo. In the layers palette change the blend mode from normal to soft light and now we have an interesting edgy effect on our flower but it's a little too pronounced so let's drop the opacity to about 50 percent. I'd like to add a little more texture to this. The flower photo still looks pretty smooth even though it has these interesting streaks in it. So let's add a new layer on top of the overlay layer and from the edit menu choose fill layer and we will fill this new layer with 50 percent gray and click OK. Now let's go to the filter menu and choose texture texturizer. We're going to add some texture to this 50 percent gray fill layer and let's add a texture of canvas. We'll scale it down a little bit to about 100 percent and we'll make the relief a little lower say 7 and click OK. We have some canvas. Let's change the blend mode from normal to overlay and let's just double click the hand tool to expand this photo so that we see it in our entire work area and notice now we've added some nice texture on top of that interesting grunge overlay. Let's change the opacity on this down to 25 percent to make it a little less noticeable. A third way to add texture is to use the pattern stamp tool. Let's create a new layer above our texturizer layer. Choose the pattern stamp tool. Let's make it with an opacity of about 50 percent. We'll use the normal blend mode and choose one of the texture fill patterns. Let's choose bark and now with a large brush size let's just paint over sections of this photo to add some bark. We're going to leave the flower virtually untouched. We'll change the blend mode again to soft light, reduce the opacity to about 25 percent and we now have an interesting bark texture on top of our canvas texture and our overlay. In this way you've learned three different ways to add texture to a photo by using a grayscale overlay, by using the texturizer on a 50 percent gray fill layer, and by using the pattern stamp tool to add some interesting patterns on top of that. The trick to making this all work together is to use different blending modes on top of your original photo. In this texture layer here that, that is the overlay, we can change the blend mode to overlay and get a different effect or change it to multiply for a different effect or screen. Let's go back to soft light and also pay attention to the opacities of your layers. They will make a big difference in the texture that you see. So there you have three different ways to add texture to your photos. 
Have fun adding texture.